It's unusual for a golfing dream to begin in a place like this. But for nine-time PGA Tour winner Stuart Appleby, this is exactly where his dreams first formed. Here's an old shag bag. Now this is an old, this is, I used to use this. God, these are archaic. This is the old technology. This is before the modern game came in. I need to get uh, some shots of that me with a calf picture that I had as a kid. One with mum, or you took. With me, I was about five. Remember that one? I'm yep, hugging yep, the yep, calf yep, around yep, the neck. Yep. Three and a half hours outside of Melbourne, Australia, Appleby's family farm served as his boyhood playground. This whole farm holds a whole lot of memories for me from as a childhood, just doing things, creating things, to obviously the passions I love with sport. And it was on that farm where the future PGA Tour star learned a valuable lesson from his father that has served him for 18 seasons on tour. My dad his work ethic now in his late 60s has not changed since he was in his 20s. I mean, he puts in 15 to 20 hour days in the summer, still loves it, doing the work by himself, really dedicated to his craft and a real love for it. This is not my brother, <laughs> it's my dad, Malcolm. Being a farmer, actually got to have that hard work mentality. And sometimes it's very physical, sometimes it's a mental test. I think really that equates to golf because it's a big long journey. So I think absolutely I noticed that and everything he did was very passionate about and I see my father as many sons do and go oh man I'm just like my dad really spending a lot of time on your craft absolutely I noticed that from him. This tree here is still here, still growing I'm sure but you can see the palm fronds up the top hopefully there's one that's fallen down Oh, here's one. I used to snap that off or cut it off with a saw, and that would be my uh, golf stick slash hockey stick. It needs a little bit more swing weight, but the flex is probably all right. My dad, as a father, was a very quiet person, very little advice, very supportive. Like, we would travel and play 72 holes on a weekend, drive 10 hours to get there and back in total drive time. Never grunted and groaned about getting up early at 4 o'clock to do those sort of things. Dad was always amazingly supportive of my golf and still is today, a really secret lover of the game and, and just, you know, loves to see his son play well. As the wins have come over the years, his family has continued to grow. Nine. Uh, chops. This for the big chunk of history. He's done it! You have just witnessed the fifth 59 in the history of the PGA Tour. But with the fame and stature, those first lessons with Dad on the farm were never far away. And of course, are now being introduced to his own children. Yucky! Look at your hand! <laughs> it's just so good to have him back, and, and particularly have our grandkids now, of course, as an addition to the family, so that's always exciting having them around, and I know Stuart loves to get back here. It feels like yesterday, and that's why I try to get my kids to come back to Australia now to really connect with that part of my life. He's still a country kid and we're just proud of the way he conducts himself and his uh, compassion and empathy with people and his feelings for everything that happens around him. As any parent, you're just trying to hope present something that's worth copying as they get older. Work ethic would be one, dedication. Knowing that we live a pretty privileged lifestyle out here on tour and to teach that to these kids, that's a tough one to do. Woohoo! -hoo -hoo!